stops before he sit and sits before he crosses the street. Good boy. And go to the right, please. Now I'm just going to have you walk and stop and sit your dog three times. And I want you to walk by all those carts that are going up there so you can just kind of weave in, in and out of people. Oh, it's perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Have a seat. Put him in a down. And ask him to watch. Pass down. Tom, good boy. And we're going to go down to number 32, where it says doors, and make a right. And this is where we're going to see if he has trust in you, so you have him sit. You have him go in a down. Tell him to stay. Let your leash leash loosely and walk over here to these steel doors. Tell him to stay. Stay. And start banging those steel doors back and forth a little bit. Okay. Yep. Good. So he's good with the noises then. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to freak out with you if there's noises. Now you ask him to come. Come on. You ask him. To, oh, not to me. <laughs> well, he's set. So ha say good boy. Give him a pet. Good boy. And we'll work on that coming over here. So. Yeah. Is it a door? Is it a lock door? Is it a lock it? 
Now if you can have your dog in a down, stay in down. Hi, can I can I ask a favor of you? Um, he just got his service dog and he's graduating and he has to make sure that his dog does not come up to you and jump on you and stuff like that. Okay. So if he if you could just walk over behind the dog and talk to him for a second so he can say hello to you as a stranger and make sure the dog doesn't jump on you. <laughs> yeah. So you just talk to the, the gentleman right there and not to the dog though. That's good. Now you please stand up. Good job. Okay, and if, Ian, if you could go ahead and put him back over by you. Heel. 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 And down. Down. And then if you could just stand up, sir, and say hello to Ian for a minute. Say hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Now the dog isn't going to jumping at you or yeah. trying to get you. But he was also friendly with you and not having an issue. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you for being our stranger. Absolutely, you're welcome. I try to get him straight when he does that. To start walking your walk. There we go. Good job. Good. Okay, so remember at a restaurant you would come over here and you pull one chair out and then the other and make sure you have room. Make sure when you pull it out, Fenway's on the way. There we go. And you're going to sit down first, and then you're going to offer him to get under. Good. Now have him lie down. Good job. And then you would just go ahead and put the leash underneath your leg. Um, yeah. And you can put your foot on it if you like. And that way when you're eating, you don't have to worry about him getting up or going out or anything like that. But your hands free. You can tap on top of the table if you like, so he knows that there's noises up there, just like if you're eating. And that's the same way you do it for getting into um, a booth situation. You sit down, you invite him in, and he's, he'll turn around and look out the other way. You're going to do that on the airplane as well, too. So you're going to get in your seat, you're going to turn him around and down. Okay. Now before you get out, you ask him to stay or wait. He knows both commands. And don't pull on your leash. So say stay. And you don't invite him out until you're ready. Okay. When you're ready, he needs to come out away from the chair and sit. Come on. Sit. Good. Now you can push in your chair. And then that way he's not in the way of the chair. Okay. Now down. All the way down. Give him a little pet. So you're okay. There we go. Let's tell him stay. Good, good job. Now give him a pet. So he has to trust you, you know, he has
Actually get something or just go up there? Sorry? Like actually get something or just go up there? Oh no, you can just go up there, just pretend like you're getting something. <laughs> it's like Halloween is not the dog's favorite time of year. <laughs> and you know never to take him to like fireworks or rock concerts or things like that. And it's all right to just pretend they know me up here, so you can just pretend to go up to the cash register. And you would lie him closest to the register in a down position. Okay. And then this is where you would put your groceries on and, and uh, pay for it and all that other stuff that you need to do. And then you would just get your pick up your groceries and head on out. So, yeah. Good job. Good job, and never letting them rush out. Perfect. Oh, that might be stairs right there. Yep. Oh, yes. Maybe. Okay. So this, we're going to practice the door now. So you know how to hold the door open so it doesn't slam on his butt, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Make sure you talk to him, he likes that. Come on. So there's some birds up there in the glass up there. If you can walk him up to that. He's allowed to look at them, but he's not allowed to bark or lunge at the anything. That's it. Good job. He doesn't care. <laughs> So he doesn't care about birdies. So you can walk him to the next one, which is a little hamster things, and have him look in here. Stop, sit. Look at here, Benny. Look at here. Look in there. Let's <laughs> see if we come out. See? Come out of there. See in there? What's in there? What's in there? 
same thing. Okay. okay, there's some cats over here on the right over there. So you can't go in the cat room, but you can walk up to the glass. Oh, there's a strange dog. Oh, good. Let's get this right here from the supplement. Okay. Come sit. 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 Come sit. Sit. Go back. Sit. Sit. There we go. There we go. Okay. And so he's over by a strange doggy. So, good job. And he's not having any reaction to it. He's not jumping at the other dog or barking or having a fit. So that's good. He can sniff, he just can't go after him. Good job, in a way. Good job. He's allowed to look at him, but he's not allowed to um, jump at him or bark at him. Good job. He smells him. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, family. Good job. Good job. See if he starts sniffing everything. He's allowed to sniff, but he can't lunge at it or try to get it. Maybe he can head up towards the front because I have some. They have some treats up there. So when I throw this treat down on the ground, you're going to practice your leave it command, okay? You're not gonna let him get to it. So we, you would do a little jerk with the leash and say, leave it, okay? Leave it. Make him sit. Sit. Good. I'm gonna get it closer to him. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good job. Good job. I'm going to get it a little bit closer. Good job, Fenway. Good. Just threw all those people right there. Good boy. Yep. <laughs> Good job. You can go up to the fish if you want. See what he does over there. Hey, how you doing? Good. I guess it doesn't care about that either. <laughs> either direction is fine with me. Are you comfortable about walking through him with um, people and stuff? Yeah, I mean, like I go to downtown. 
Uh huh. Those are like 100 people at a right. Long. Right. I know. I love downtown Chicago. It's one of my favorite cities. So if he gets lost in that, you know, with all those people right there, yeah. what you'll need to do is try to pick him up, okay? Because okay. you don't want him to get squished by everybody. They walk real fast down there. They're not yeah. paying attention. So you go into all those fancy stores. I love those stores down there. I just... Oh, Michigan Avenue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you, have you ever eaten at Italian Village? Oh, my favorite. Mm -hmm. And which pizza is your favorite? Blue Giovanni's. Blue Malnati's, not Giornano's. Oh, really? I don't like the stuff that doesn't Yeah. Oh, you, don't, you like the cornbread one? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too far from you. It's like, what, 45 minutes? Yeah. Uh, two and a half hours. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my other client was like not very far from it. It took us like 45 minutes. To get there. Now, do you ever take this? It's so cute. <laughs> Mama. There we go. Good job. Perfect. So how would you make a left turn with him? Uh, so see how he gets backward, back a little bit? You just pull your leash back a little bit like that and then make your left turn. So you don't run him over. Pull the leash back. There we go. Perfect. Good job. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, you could just leave it right there. So. I don't know where it goes. Perfect!